Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPP.net video series on C++ and in this video we'll be learning reference data members in C++. So before watching this video you must be knowing what is a reference variable. If you don't know, I'll give you some hint here. If you have some variable x is equal to 10 and if you want to create a reference variable of this x, I mean if you want to refer x then you will write something like this r is equal to x that's it now x and r both are pointing to the same memory location you must be knowing that if you are creating a variable it will have its own memory but you are creating another variable but this is a reference variable so it will refer this variable it won't have any memory for this one and it cannot be null and all those things if you want to know much about reference variable please go ahead and watch reference variable video in my video series and if you know that let's continue this so before this video we saw a constant data member and you saw that you have to use initializer list to create that i mean initialize that so here also we'll use the initializer list that is the only way you can initialize reference data members so i'll create some reference here let's call it x and let's write some constructor base and inside this constructor you want to initialize this x here so this reference a will come here and x and a that's it you are done now and let's create some base b and pass this val and let's create this val is equal to 10 and now if you will print this b dot print and let's give this function here void print inside this just print x that's it now let's compile this and check this see you're getting 10 so what you're doing is you have this variable well outside your class now you're passing this variable as a reference and getting it here as a reference this is very important don't miss this part here this has to be reference otherwise it will not work because yeah it's obvious right because you're passing this well as a reference here and this you are assigning as this one the reference so this is also referring this value and this x is also going to refer this value and it's pretty clean that if you will not take this value as reference here then this 10 will be passed here and a will be referenced here i mean x will refer a not value so you have to pass this as reference don't forget that and this is how you achieve doing this so you have this reference variable which is referring val okay and here comes the fun part even if this is private you can change it without base knowledge so as i'm printing this 10 here let's see that again the answer is 10 now if i'm changing this val to 20 and b dot print again this will have the different value see 20 but this x i mean this x is a private member but still you can change it from outside because even if it is private it is referring this variable correct so you can change this variable without any problem and you ultimately having the new value here so this is how you do this so this much video is for the newcomers like if you are learning c first time and you are following my series then you should stop here because now I'm going to talk about these points which you may not understand. But you can still choose to watch full video, right? So it's up to you. Don't tell me that you didn't understand this and that. So, as this notes is for experienced people. Now let's talk about the first one. I might have missed few points. So if you know more than this, please comment. It will be a good fun. So the first point is use reference when you are okay with your data member can be changed without any without your knowledge i mean without base knowledge as you saw here you end up changing this x and it is working fine which is ultimately breaking the encapsulation rule here but as it is always said 
if you know what you're doing then it is not breaking any law so it's you who is creating this and if you know what you're doing there is no problem so the first point you saw here now let's look at the second point use when you don't need to implement assignment operator in your class this is a restriction here yes it is a restriction the thing is you cannot create a assignment operator let me just give you a proof of this one so base uh, reference operator is equal to and here const base ref object and now if you want to assign this obj with your x and this should return this one okay so now this is perfect code for your assignment operator and if you'll compile this you won't get any error see you will not get any error but if you will use it you will get the error i mean not exactly the error the uh, what to say actually when you use this one you always mean to say that now this x should refer this x okay this is what you are going to tell okay so if let me just write here base b2 and b2 need to be initialized with b here which is coming from this top so if you will do this you are ultimately willing to say that this b2 should refer this val okay but it won't refer this val and yeah and one more thing i have to give this uh, default constructor and this default constructor is a problem for you because if you have reference then you have to initialize that reference variable anywhere in the construction okay so if you are not initializing this will give you an error so let's just check that see uh, uninitialized reference member in this one so you cannot have this kind of constructor you have to initialize this anyhow okay so if you are initializing this it means you cannot use this one okay so if you cannot use this one you cannot construct empty object like this one i mean the default object which is not having any value see b was having this val so b2 have to have something okay so that something could be a new val1 which is holding maybe 30 so you can write val1 here or the previous val whatever it is i mean it should be a new or old variable which you can pass here as a reference okay then this will make sense and now the meaning of this one will change now the meaning will become like you want to initialize b into b2 and as this b2 is pointing val now you want to change this val with whatever is there inside b so it will be a good practice i mean example if i will make it val 20 no 20 is used 30 and if you are passing this val 1 here now this b2 will refer val 1 and b is referring val okay so now if you are assigning b to b2 you are ultimately changing this val 1 and we can check that here just print val1 and our doubt will be clear let's compile this see you created b2 val1 which was holding 30 was assigned to x of b2 but later you changed this with this b and b was referring to this val which later happened to be this 20 so you got 20 in this val1 okay maybe it is little tricky but if you will rewind this video and watch this again you may get this point quite easily so this was about this second point maybe i am stretching this video a little more no problem so third is if okay with the contained object is not owned by the containing object and thus their lifetimes are not bound yes obviously let's suppose what is happening here the lifetime of this val is let me just remove all these things 
Now, what I'm trying to tell you is, B get destroyed. Before that, if VAL will get destroyed, then there is a problem. So you must be sure and you must be okay with this constraint that VAL will not get destroyed or VAL's scope will not go off before this B. Then only it makes sense. Otherwise, B will be referring VAL and VAL has gone. So this is a problem, right? So if you want to see that, uh, how to show you, uh, maybe it not be a good practice or good idea to show this, but it should work. So this is like this and now you're passing this value here and let me just compile this. Yeah, it's working. So what I'm trying to tell you is let's just print this. Now I have a print function here, b dot print which will print this let's run this see you have 10 now now you just delete this VAL and now again try to print this B dot print and let's see what will happen see boom correct so you have this pointer you are referring to this pointer here actually you're not referring to the pointer you are referring to the address what it is holding and that address is going off here. So that's why second print is a garbage print. Okay. So this is a dangerous situation. If you're not sure that VAL will not get destroyed or its scope will not go off, then only you use this kind of thing here. Okay. So that was our third point, I guess. Yeah. So fourth is you need to ensure that the referred object is guaranteed to exist till your class object exists. Yeah, actually this is talking about the third point only. So you need to be very sure that B is going first, then this is going, okay? So you saw that here. And I don't see any point left here. So let's summarize this video by saying that you should use reference they remember when you want to have some dependency because B is of no use. I mean, this base object B has no use if VAL is gone. Okay, so this VAL is some another entity which is coming outside from your class and getting assigned here. So in case if this is destroyed or no longer exist, then your B is totally waste. So this is like a dependency injection. You must have this before this and since this is alive, this should be alive. Okay. So if you want to achieve some kind of dependency like this in your program, you can go for this one because this will directly give you the message if you are using this reference. They remember if someone is looking at a code, they can tell you that, okay, you are injecting this dependency. and. I tried to find some another use of this, but I couldn't get much because people are talking about this with their own experiences and no one has come up with the proper use of this. Okay. And this is my feeling for this particular variable. What should be the use of this? Okay. So I think we are done here. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go for it. It would help you and me both a lot because I'll be uploading videos like this quite often. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.